Hello everyone, on this video you will learn how to run an executable from your ASP.NET Core Web API. But before we start, I want to show you the executable that I created. So basically this executable, all it does is when you run it, it writes a date and time stamp to a log. So that's, that's pretty much it. So this is to confirm that our task program is going to work, right? So once again, you run it and you open the log, you see there's a new date. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do, open up Visual Studio, create a new project. We're gonna create an ASP.NET Core Web API. You can do a search up on top. It's gonna be right there. Go ahead and click, test Web API Core. Go ahead and save it, create, give it a second. So first thing we're gonna do here, it's add a folder to add our executable to our content folder, right? So let's go ahead and uh, click add, Con and then name it content. So all I'm gonna do is open up my uh, executable. I'm gonna drag it and drop it to my content folder. As you guys can see, it's there now. Okay, next step is we're gonna create a new, a new controller. I'm just gonna name it test. Oops. Test controller. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is up on top here, we're gonna do a property AP, API controller, and we're gonna enter route. Controller. This is the fir our first step is going to be this. Second step is we're gonna set a private variable that's gonna be where we're gonna get a car, the path for our project. Private, oops. Read only iWeb hosting. Make sure you use iWeb hosting environment and it's gonna be env, oops. Okay. Let's do create a constructor for our controller. So public test controller now we're going to pass in this it's going to be env environment so underscore env equals environment what this does here is grab the initializer that's going to retrieve our environment path all right let's go ahead and create a function going to be private void run executable and we're going to pass in a parameter a string parameter let's do a try catch make sure everything is in order our first line of code is going to be string content root path and it's going to be env dot environment dot content root path and then next one is going to be string web root path and it's going to be uh underscore env dot web root path so basically like i said we're, tr we're trying to get to this content folder where this web api console is on right now our file name is going to be content root path plus web root path plus whatever your whatever your uh, file is. In this example, it's going to be our content folder web API console.exe. So content web, uh, you can copy this if you want. And so basically this year, it's going to be this exact location here, the content folder and calling this. Next step is we're gonna need a process object. We've got to start a process object B equals new process. And if your student complains about it, just hover it Use, using system.diagnostics. Now p.start start info. 
dot redirect standard output and then set that to true. And then p.startInfo dot you shall execute, just make sure that set, you set that to false. P dot start info dot create no windows. You don't want to create a window. You don't want like the pop up. You don't want a uh, console app to pop up while you're using this. Now start info dot. Now you're going to put the file name and then we already have the file name up here. So it's going to be the entire path of your file. And then let's say if you have any parameters, in this case, we're going to pass in any string as a parameter. p.start.parameters arguments. It's going to be the parameters. And last but not least, this is one of the most important things we need to, to have it here. It's the working directory. You guys got to make sure you specify where the this web console api.exe, it's 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 on otherwise this is not going to work all right so this is how you do it p dot start info dot working directory equals you don't do not put the exe do not put the exe a path on it just the folder that it's in so this is pretty much it and then you got to start the process You got to start the process and you got to wait for it to exit. Okay. And this is about it. That's all we need to run it. Okay. But let's go over one more time. So make sure on your constructor, on your controller constructor, you, you initialize a iWeb host environment in order to get the content folder information. And that's used right here to get the web root path and to get the content root path. So the very first, these lines are pretty basic. You don't want it to create a window. You want it to redirect standard output and you set the file name and you set whatever arguments you want. And here, like I said, this is one of the most important things. You got to make sure you set the path that your executable is in. So let's go ahead and run it. I'm going to actually call my executable right here. I'm going to put test number one. I'm going to put a breakpoint here so it hits it. Let's go ahead and run it. So this is set up with Swagger, but I don't really need, I don't really care about Swagger. All I'm going to do is go to test here. As you guys can see, it hit the index here, root folder. Let's see what the file name is. It got my whole path here. The process, what's my arguments? It's test number one. All right, let's see here. There's a content folder start and did it run it? Uh, no service type ASV.net. Okay, got it, got it, got it. So instead of returning a view here, cause we don't have a view, let's just uh, put this for now. This is basically just gonna return my root path. It's the same thing that I'm using here. Okay, let's go ahead and run it one more time. Test it. Everything should be the same. And there we go. So you ran. So now for us to check it, let's go ahead and go into this content folder. Open the content folder. Open the log. As you guys can see here, it is up and running. Let's run one more time. Okay, let's run one more time. Let's close this but I'm gonna change this to test, test two. Go ahead and run it. Test, hit it, hit F5. We should be good to go. Let's go ahead and go to our content folder once again. Open the folder. As you guys can see, just got updated again. Open it up and it says test two. So that's pretty much it guys. I'll go ahead and drop this code on the description below. If you guys have any questions, comments, just drop them below. Thanks for watching.